Hi. I want to live on the other side. I want to live on the edge, man. Looks like fun. Looks like fun. Woo! That looks cool. 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 I love life right now. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Right now is so, everything is so great and perfect right now. I just, I'm just wondering how long I'm going to feel this way. I mean, I didn't know one could feel this way. It's great. This is me when I first took Adderall. <laughs> some some of my friends had it or something at lunch at school that day, and I took some, and I think it was a lot because I was I I was feeling really good. Um, but it it makes you feel powerful. Um, so that day, I four hours after I took it, I after school I visited this teacher that I had a crush on, and I was just like, hey. What's up? And she was totally surprised because I've never, you know, I never speak up in class. I always keep to myself. I'm very, I was a very quiet kid. And um, so she thought it was funny and we just, it went really smoothly. And I mean, nothing happened, you know, but <laughs> it like just goes like, I, it goes to show like I, that's something I would never do if I didn't take Adderall. Um, it definitely makes you feel more confident and social and a bunch of stuff and i'm convinced that loft wouldn't have gotten started if i didn't start taking adderall in 2012. so you i mean this one has how many hits on it like five million or yeah it's like uh, 5.2 million now i think wow so you started making these videos back in march uh why um mostly to uh for make fun money. to make money okay yeah. all right <laughs> it's interesting because enter you're a relatively soft-spoken guy so to yeah. be going up to people or just randomly doing this you're kind of breaking out of your shell this isn't your normal no Yeah, I have. Do you feel like you have ADD? Um, I feel like I have a mild form of ADD, for sure, but I don't necessarily feel like I have it to the extent where I'd ever be prescribed Adderall. So you, you believe you do have ADD? I do. I don't believe. I, I know. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people can't focus in school. Um, yeah. So how do you know um, that you have ADD? If ADD is a real disease, oh, it's not a disease. It's a uh, it's an outcome. It's well, all right. So this is what I had a discussion with my doctor with. All right. So the reason people are prescribed to ADD now is because our cultures are different now. Because we're more into this like desk job, uh, sit down and do work and read type of attitudes. Okay. And back before we were in this kind of structured society like that. We had these types of people that were hunter-gatherers, that were always moving around searching for the next thing. And when he was talking to me about uh, Adderall, he's like, you're a hunter-gatherer. You, like, I want to always be doing stuff. So if you see me, like, work, if I have, like, a, let's say I was working at a bar or something, I'm fucking running around all the time. I'm just doing stuff. Because my that's how my brain works. I'm like, do something different, do something different, do something different. So if I sat down and read a book, I read like a paragraph and I'm like, what's that over there? Let me get into that. Let's do this. Let's do that. Yeah. So it's a personality. There's a lot of people that are like that. Okay. And that's what Adderall helps you with because you get focused into something 
and you get really into it and then nothing else starts distracting you. I like totally spaced out right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like really into that. Do I think Adderall is a good thing? For me. No. <laughs> Do you think ADD is real? Um, I honestly like don't know enough to, yeah. to say, but I mean, I think, I definitely think it's over-prescribed. Yeah. Like, uh, like a lot of people are just, not, they don't have ADD, but they're getting. Right, I mean, everyone has it to a degree. It's um, diagnosed yeah, it's overdiagnosed. I mean, at a certain point, ADD is a problem for sure. But some people, like, if you if you have, like, this much ADD, like, everyone has a certain degree. But only if you have, like, a lot or where it becomes a problem in your life, that's when you should be prescribed. What if the ADD is a real thing and I do need the drug? Do you have ADD? I, I'm diagnosed ADD. Really? But I don't, I mean, that's what that's what's up to, for debate. I remember I went to the doctor and I just said, hey, I, uh, I just, I want to be tested for ADD. <laughs> and she was like, okay, um, do you think, why do you think you have ADD? And she, and I said, well, I, uh, I, you know, I just, I daydream a lot. And I, you know, I've always kind of had trouble in school, which is like not completely false. You know, I've always, yeah, I do daydream all the time during class, but I always thought that was normal. But anyway, she gave me this packet and I filled it out as honest as honestly as I could. Plus questions just like that, like how often do you, you know, lose your attention talking to someone and and what are your grades like? Well, I don't know. And then she came back and said, All right, I'm gonna write you a script for Adderall. <laughs> and it was just like that. It was just one doctor's appointment. And I actually never saw that doctor again. She that was from a walk in clinic. <laughs> so do you know anyone that has? Yeah, or I know like a few people. Do you know anyone people. that has ADD? Yeah. Um, do you I, believe they have ADD? Dude, that's hard, honestly. Like, right. it's a debate because if you, if you, it's like a centered experience. Like, so I can't say what someone else feels or experiences or what they need. Ideally, I think that people, like you were saying, like people can work through it without like assistance, but then like what you said about food, like people need food, people need like safety. So I don't know, man. It's hard. Everyone's battling each other. It's flowing. Here we go. <laughs> I'm in a different universe. I'm a different person. I'm working. I'm bursting with birth that are birth. Tell me to stop while I'm at the top. I'm about to pop with this non-stop limitless energy. Bye, but now I see I'm an old genius living the sweetest life. You should see this. You'll never know my secrets. Too late. It's this. Woo! I'm cool and collected. No side effects affected me just yet. We just met, and I bet you won't regret it if you come along and hang with me. Big wild wild methamphetamine pumps through my veins. Watches the dopamine lights up my face. Drink lots of water though, just in case I'm quicker in the brain, more productive than a train. And my main goal is put money in the bank. So work, study, work, write it down, make it happen. Numbers aren't a problem anymore. What's the status on the stat sheets? On the analytics page, don't kill my vibe or the superficial happiness of mine. Why are you so quiet all the time? I'm fine, please. Mind. Mind your own business, I can handle this shit Coming down quick, hell I need my medicine Hell I'm out again Woo! Do you think I have ADD? I think you have, yeah, I think you have more ADD than most people How so? Um, like you're not, you're not like, you know, like over, like fidgety or talking all the time But you're definitely like, you know, lost in your thoughts a lot And I think when you're on Adderall, you're not as much Okay. So it's hard for you to pay attention sometimes when you're not on Adderall, you know? Yeah. Like, I'll be talking to you, and then, like, a minute later, you'll be like, what? You know? Right, yeah. But you don't do that when you're on Adderall. You <laughs> right. need to be talking to people and research that it's studied, like, in academics and stuff, I think, to make it real. The documentary mm -hmm. real? Hmm. I mean, obviously, some opinion stuff, and Could I think... Be fun. Yeah, yeah, good like and fun. Like a small portion. Yeah, right, and right. I think family is important, and then, like, friends that have known you for a long time are important, but yeah. that should be, like, a third of it, and then right. two-thirds of it should be, yeah, like... Real stuff. Yeah, like exactly. Science. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so done with this topic. No more prescription drugs. 
I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about them anymore. I'm done. I don't care anymore. I used to care a lot, but now I don't. I called it King of Awkward because Adderall makes me awkward. It makes everyone awkward, the come down especially. And I feel like the bulk of all my videos that I've made on Loft, like the awkward ones, like the main awkward videos, I was on Adderall. And I feel like I kind of cheated. I don't really take it much anymore. I used to take it every day back back when we did it, but now it's maybe once every couple weeks at the most. And I and I feel like I've like I've kind of found myself again. And I'm happier. So, anyway, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad, I'm just, I'm sick of this topic. Let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching.